I love you. Hi. Hi. You guys ready for a great show? Yeah. So I say, first of all, thank you guys for coming. It really means a lot to us without an MPW. We'll be without the fans. There's no MPW. Thank you guys. I just wanted to come out here first. Um, obviously last week, it didn't go as planned for me, but there's no one more just I love you guys, thank you. There's no one more deserving than Mickey Rose, so I just want to congratulate Mickey Rose for last week. And as those of you know, this past year for me has been quite a roller coaster ride in and outside of this ring. Um, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for being part of this journey with me so far. Uh, a little update, as most of you guys know about my husband's diagnosis. Uh, as of two weeks ago, he should be now cancer free. So, and now with wrestling, you know, it's been quite a ride so far. Um, I was a two-time MPW champion, which meant the world to me, and I wouldn't have been able to do it without all of you guys this whole time. So I really appreciate that. And now, what's next for me? I don't know, but I'm very excited for this journey, what's gonna come up next. I'm here tonight for my, my girl, my best friend, Milo. So I'm very excited to see what's next, and I can't wait for you guys to take this journey with me. You guys have been there with me since the beginning, and it means the world to me. So thank you guys, and I'll see you guys later tonight. Fans, welcome back to MPW Bad Business. I am Barry Sweeney alongside uh, say it, say it, say it. the perfect gentleman, uh, Brian Carter. And, and they love this part, they love this part. Say it. Big Mama Kane. Yeah, Big Mama Kane and TVG in the building, baby, for bad business. That being said, we have some bad, or some, perhaps some good business in the ring now. One half of the MPW Tag Team Champions, <laughs> Brendan Devine, and the Jackal, Jeff Roth of the Enterprise. And uh, who, who's Brendan's partner again? Who's he got Modern the day with? Spartan Jordan Cruz. <laughs> yeah. What a match last, last week. You know, I absolutely couldn't believe it. You got there, yeah, Everett. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, sure yeah. didn't slip past me. Yeah. I mean,. It certainly made an impact on the Cyber Storm. No longer tag team champions. And <laughs> oh, yes, that was good business. Well, these are an odd couple, to say the least, in the tag team game. I mean, I don't know what kind of step it's taken out of Brendan Devine's game. I don't know what kind of wind it's taken out of his sails. I mean, normally he comes out and the believers, they, they, they adore him. They, they, like, give him his adulation, but he didn't even come out and do the stomp thing in the ring. He only does the stomp thing in the ring. He does, but... This is the greatest test for Brandon right now. Okay, being tag champions with someone who at one point was your mortal enemy, come on, he says he's a champion, right? He's a champion of the people. Well, show it by being a tag champ with your most hated enemy. I mean, that being said, Jordan Cruz not here tonight to support his tag team partner, but... Oh, look at this. Jeff Rob. Man, what a specimen. What a, what a technical okay. specimen. Take nothing away from him. Jackal Jeff Roth is a deadly competitor. He is trained in Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, all myriad of martial arts, and that applies to how his ring, ring, in ring style rather uh, plays out in the ring here. And Brendan Devine, while he might have the size advantage, has a lot ahead of him this match. Yeah, Jeff is definitely going to use that Muay Thai experience here in this match. And the Enterprise is full of guys who are full of surprises. You got. You got the ringleader, the mastermind, Jackson Calhoun. You got the powerhouse, Robin Shaw. You got, obviously, the hitman in the ring right now, Jeff Roth. And the rising star, Cameron August. These four guys, they're going to take over the wrestling scene in Southern California. That is for sure. Almost every man in that has held or is looking to hold some gold here. And uh, sweet Robin Shaw, the kingmaker Robin Shaw, holding some MPW gold, allegedly. No, I, I, I'd, I'd like to remind fans that he it's still is in litigation, but... No, no. Listen, at one point, yes, that was a very prestigious title. But 
No longer. Okay. It made it all the way to Alabama. Those, you know, questionable people. And I don't recognize it here. I just don't. I just don't. Well, either way, well, that decision is still being made. Plenty of decisions made in the ring tonight here at Bad Business. Off the ropes, Irish whip. Big shoulder tackle from Brendan Devine. And while Robin Shaw cheers on the jackal in the ring here, well scouted, but no. So was that hip toss. And an arm drag to boot. Nice. You asked earlier where his head would be at, and I think he's still focused on Jeff Roth, despite the circumstances behind that tag team championship deal. I mean, when it comes to MPW, when it comes to SoCal, there are very few more talented than Brendan Devine. And again, even when he might not be in the right mindset or perhaps the right mood, ooh, he is still a formidable opponent, but what a forearm shot. You can hear it all the way over here at the end of table. That was a big shot for Jeff Roth. And I think that was just a teaser of what he can do. Oh, exactly right. I mean, Jeff Roth, he's here for the precision, oh. but then so is Brendan Devine with a hard right. Looks like Devine has had enough of the game. Stomps in the corner here. Robin Shaw advocating for the rules for once. Oh! Big clothesline. Oh! Oh. Huge side kick upside the head. Shades of his older brother, Danny Devine, with that kick right there. That is for sure. We're wishing Danny Devine a speedy recovery. Absolutely. Because we need a credible oh. champion. And there's a big shot from Devine to Rock. Uh, we are serving up shots here at 19801 Nordoff Place, Chatsworth, California. That's for sure. And they're coming in hot. No one home in second, though. Oh! Hey, if you can dish it out, you got to take it, too. That's for sure. Oh, and another! Oh. <laughs> Sounded like the 4th of July in that ring over there, Barry. That's for sure. Oh, in the corner! Oh. And Brendan Devine! I felt that in my chesticle. Goodness gracious, pitching like Shohei Otani out here. Oh! Here comes Brendan! Big, Big back elbow. elbow! Up on the Did second row! Here we go! Oh, the Double X panel! Double X panel! He's bringing it back! Oh, and there's that fire to the fan! You were wondering where it was before, and there it is again to the other side. Brendan Devine claimed on Twitter he would bring the double X handle back. Jeff Roth out of the ring here. And perhaps the Enterprise have to consult, have to strategize here to see what they're going to do with Brendan Devine now. I'm no, fan, I'm no fan of Devine, but I got to say, he does bring that fire to MPW. That's for sure. And while those flames might have been smothered by Jordan Cruz, the stoked, art, the stoked uh, ashes are still there, to say the very least. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, come on now. Chris Hernandez might be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh, and an expertly placed kick to the arm. We saw that arm tortured by Jordan Cruz not too long ago. And a oh. big back elbow. Big jumping back elbow. Here we go. Only a one count, though. Authority to cover, but look. Look at the aggression of Jeff Roth. Aggression Man. is putting it lightly. Jackal Jeff Roth. When he smells blood in the water, he's going to pounce. And at the same time, look at him trying to stretch out, trying to keep that space, eliminate that kind of uh, separation. Jackal is definitely right. He is attacking his prey like a jackal would if it was dinner time. Look at that, working that arm there. Exactly. Again, hammering blows and forearms, elbows to the arm. Again, we saw that there. And as we saw it with uh -oh. Jordan Cruz, as the arm gets stretched into the ropes. Off the ropes. Oh, and a big knee to the back of the elbow. Robin Shaw just made a big point. That left arm red is going to be hard to execute if your arm is busted up. Exactly. We saw it against Jordan Cruz, and we're seeing it now as the arm bar is applied. Brendan Devine trying to fight out, keep a hold of that arm there. You can see he's, his positioning right now. He's trying to not let Roth get a big lock on that arm. And on top of that, again, big Brendan, Brendan Devine, former national champion not too long ago, won half of the tag team champions. A victory for Jeff Roth here, a victory for the Enterprise here could mean a whole lot for those rankings, I'd imagine. And this is the thing, these first time matchups, they're crucial because you don't really know what your opponent can do until you actually face them. You can watch as much tape as you want, you can watch as many matches as you want, but facing your opponent in the ring is different than watching them. And with that 
brutal kick right across the spinal cord. Goodness gracious. I mean, talk about action you're not going to find anywhere else, but MPW, and wow! Oh, hit him with the right. Another one. But he's holding that left arm. Exactly. Roth doing his best here, and Brenda Devine playing perhaps against his favor. But two can play in that game. Big whip in the corner. Comes Devine. Oh. Nice hero. Oh, to the right. Oh. Oh. Huge, big boot. That was like a drive-by shooting right there. That's for sure. Teeth spread across. Oh, oh discus shit. lariat. Huge discus lariat there. One, two. Nope. Nearly three, says Chris Hernandez, but the Oats, match continues. No Come on. That is for sure. I mean, cigars are probably going to be exchanged regardless of the Enterprise, but that goes without saying, I think. Absolutely. And the fans showing Brendan their support, shouting they believe. I don't know. Their belief might be misplaced right now, but who knows? Listen, with all due respect, Mr. General Manager, sir, if you haven't been convinced to be a believer by now, and look at this, <laughs> Fujiwara Armbar. I believe in that one, Barry. I believe in that. Arm bar from Jeff Roth. Arm being torqued. That extension. Exactly. I mean, Jackal Jeff Roth, like a surgeon in there with the strategy, with the precision. Oh, here come the fans again, rallying behind Brendan Devine. Big German suplex. Nice. That's it. That's got to be it. Two, three. What? Nearly three off that suplex, but no. Brendan Devine still very much in this fight, and Jeff Roth slowing down. He has to maintain that kind of control if he wants to win this match against a caliber of talent like Brendan Devine. Agreed, but he's doing a good job so far. Oh, and here's where that Muay Thai comes into play. That's a second one. Look at those well placed kicks right to the sternum. Right to the sternum, right to the solar plexus that can knock the wind right out of you. But look at this. Uh oh, wait. Brendan caught it. Into uh -oh. the fireman's carry. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh! Huge kick upside the head. This could be it. No. I thought it was over right there. And look at Jeff Roth here. Going for that arm again. He is really hoping to lock in this arm bar. You can't help but think that if he actually does it, it's over. I mean, again, you pointed it out earlier, but look at Brennan Devine. Raining down, blows in the back. Clinching the neck. Give it no. Whoa! Oh, oh my goodness! Arm hooked on the brain buster there. Jeff Rob is down. Thinking here. Divine can't be thinking it. Here it comes. Left, Left on red. red. Jeff Rob is out and this could be it. Oh boy. And there it is. Brendan Divine, your winner here tonight. Fans, MPW Bad Business. I am Barry Sweeney. Joined alongside Pinky Santino. How you doing, Pinky? Oh, I'm good and ready to see some big time action here as AMF takes on Milo. This is the first time match, I believe. I believe so, especially against the former national champion. Oh. And we're off to a rowdy start here. Barbie Boy in Milo's corner, Jack Slammer and AMFs. We'll see how this pans out. Hopefully oh. it's a fair fight. Whoa. Look at this! And Milo is not here to play. Look at that form. That's for sure. Bringing it to the former national champion. And Milo here. Whoa! Huge monkey flip. Laying in the offense early. He has the former champion just reeling and off balance. He doesn't know what's going on. Milo has been on a hot streak as of late here at MPW fans. She has taken on competitors bigger, stronger, and come out on top. She's innovative. She has a hey, ring of whoa, offense. Whoa, what is, what's Jack Slammer doing up on the apron? Oh! Getting kicked right in the mush is what he's doing. Well, some might say he got what he deserved there. He had no business up on that apron. That is for sure. And again, as both AMF and Jack Slammer collect themselves outside the ring here, 
Milo reveling in the spoils, but who can blame her? I mean, she's been on a hot streak. Like we said, there are very few in MPW right now who can match her kind of intensity and tenacity. Oh, most definitely. Oh! Whoa! Oh! Right across the rib cage on the top rope there, and AMF may have found his opening. And that's when intensity and tenacity can be used against you. That's for and, sure. And that's exactly what AMF does. He finds that that spot and he'll use it against you. He is all about shifting momentum. He is rarely the one to come out of the gate too hot, but slow and steady could very well win this race here at Bad Business. 19801 Nordoff Place, Chatsworth, California tonight. Oh, God, right. Whoa! Oh! Huge for cut the wrench. He might have lost her halfway through and spiked her on her head. But that could very well get the job yeah, done here tonight. I'm very surprised she was able to kick out after that. Again, credit to Milo with Barbie Boy in her corner or without. She is in a tenacious employment. But again, whether it's the damage to the neck or the damage to the ribs here, AMF clearly found his opening. Just a waist luck alone. You can just see. Oh! Milo fighting out. Oh, back roll. Throws him off. Oh, he catches the line. Oh, no. Oh! What a gut buster. Just working on that midsection. And you know what? If he, if he damages those ribs, Milo's not going to be able to breathe. And if you can't breathe, you cannot fight. That's exactly right. Pinky and on top of that. Very expert on the pin there. Credit where credit is due. Not only hooking the leg, but covering the shoulders as well. And another gut wrench attempt oh, no. here. We'll see how this goes. But whoa! Oh, schoolgirl pin Rip one, up. two! Nearly three, but Victor Quinta says no. Caught by AMF. What's he got planned here? Oh! oh Crossbody! One, two! Oh, I almost thought she had him. Nearly had him there. And that's the thing you got to look out with with Milo in the ring. Whether or not you have backup, whether or not you have a man like Jack Slammer. And what a kick right to the chest. That clothesline from hell. And Milo coming up like a house of fire. That is for sure. Two clotheslines and now running him into the top turbicle. And that Three. is a five alarm fire. Oh. Count alarm fans, looks like she's going for that bulldog, but oh, no. no. Torture rack applied. Milo fights out of it though. Oh. Gets the bulldog. AMF drilled right on his face. But can you capitalize? Here. So slow for the pin. We'll see if you can capitalize two. still. No. Only a two. Not able to hook the legs. Her abdomen is hurting her way too much. Exactly. Even just making the cover is an ordeal. She's been through a lot of trauma here physically with those ribs, with that midsection. We'll see how this goes. But look, 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 hooked here. But oh, knees. And another. Right to the midsection. Oh, with that knee right to the kitchen sink. Exactly. And on top of that, Milo struggling to fight through here. But. Look at this, AMF might be calling the match right now. Oh. Big DDT! And Barbie Boy telling Milo to cover. I don't think she, she might have not heard him. Whether, or whether, she's trying to capitalize on this opportunity. Exactly, whether Milo heard it, him or not, she's got to capitalize and capitalize well. She knows she's hurt right now, and she's powering through all power to her. I think she's going for the home run here. Oh! A little too long up on the top rope. That's for sure. And again, with Jack Slammer looming, you never know what these opportunities are going to rise to. But dangerous territory up here. High rent district here in Chatsworth. Could be sizing up a suplex, a DDT, who knows, but it could be dangerous. Oh! Milo knocks off a AMF with that huge headbutt. What? You, like you said, you always gotta watch and see what Jack Slammer's getting ready to do. You never know. So far, he's maintained his distance here, but we never know what we're gonna get. Milo from the top! Oh! oh and out with a splash! Jumps off the rope, and there's no water in the pool. Oh, and a face buster. One, two, three. That's going to do it. And that is it. Milo could not capitalize. Yes. And AMF, the victor tonight. Senor Barbie Boy. Anon de vas. Where are you going? Away from you. Cállate, señorita. Los hombres están hablando. 
señor Barbie. Earlier you said to these peasants, what was next for you? Correct? Well, yo, Alejandro Mauricio Fernández, yo tengo, yo tengo, I have your answer. You see, I recently sold a lot of my crypto right before I crashed. Obviously, that's how, that's how you do it. I'm sorry if you, all of you lost money. Oh no. But I was like, hey, what should I do with all this money? So I decided, I took a drive. I went to Beverly Hills to go see my wife. And then I thought about it. And still, nothing. Then I drove to Santa Monica to go see my mistress. And then that's when it hit me. I said, Alejandro, you, you are a genius. I bought the most expensive contract in Millennium Pro Wrestling. Wait a minute. Oh, and then I bought your contract as well. Whoa! What? Mine was the most expensive. Someone asked. What are you talking about? You can't be contract. serious. What the hell was that mean for, for Barbie Boy? Wait, wait, wait. Did, did Carter your, your sell Your contract was up for grabs, senor. You had nothing after this. Yeah. What do you mean? Wait. Ricardo! Yes, sir. Los papeles. I mean, it could be, but that, that being aside. I own you. I own Bobby Boy. Señor Carter, salga por favor. Carter didn't do this. I have a feeling the perfect gentleman did. There is a deal that we just made. Barbie, Barbie, listen. Um, between a couple of uh, miscellaneous costs and uh, an almost lawsuit with AMF here. I figured you'd want to do what is best for MPW, so your contract was up for grabs. So, basically, if you even want to blink here in MPW, you got to go through that guy. He's your boss now. You work for Alejandro Mauricio Fernandez. You have got to be so, kidding me. You know, I'm calling my union rep. This is ridiculous. Oh, no, no, no. That's not even all of it, senorita. And now since I own you, that means I own the patent to Barbie Boy. Tu nombre, senor, your name. It is no longer Barbie Boy. You cannot wear that shirt anymore. It belongs to me. In fact, everybody here who is wearing a Barbie shirt, all of the merchandise, anything, with your name on it, es mio, senor. Yes, yes. Take off your shirt. Give it to me right now. Ricardo. Don't do it. Don't suffer this indignity, Barbie Bar Bar Boy. Shirt. Take his dignity. Take all his merchandise. It, it is all mine. This, this is disgusting, but if he doesn't do it, he, he can't wrestle here at MPW. Look at this, Jack he Slimmer is, is taking the merchandise off the mine. table. That is mine. The shirt that he is grabbing is mine. The shirt you are wearing is mine. Take it off. Hold it up. Come on. This is how Barbie Boy makes his living. This is how he feeds his family. Ridiculous. Absolutely these, outrageous. These fans come out here to see Barbie Boy. They come out here to see him in that jersey. They come out here to cheer him, and now they can't. You heard the ovation now, here early on, tonight. Hold on, hold on. I don't need any of 
Well, talk about bad business. You know, the MPW faithful are speaking my mind better than I could. Bring them out. Let's go. I ain't talking today. Let's go. Anybody. Anybody. Anybody? Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not me. Calm down. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry. We're not finished. I'm not finished with you. But that's all right. That's another time, another day. Anyways, I want to introduce someone that's been working real hard. I've been in here training with them. They've been killing it. And I think they're ready. I think they're ready. So, Ernie, can you introduce my friend? What? Fans, MPW Bad Business, I am Barry Sweeney, joined with Mr. General Manager, Brian Carter, the perfect gentleman. And Big Mama King. And this is the Duke Bennett Open Season Challenge, and we have an MPW debut tonight in Jason Levi. Jack, Jackson Levy? That Jason Levi has Jason been training Levi. Okay. at the MPW, the Millennium Pro Wrestling Academy, yeah. for quite some time now, and he's ready to make his debut in a big way with the endorsement from Johnny Robbie, too. We'll see how this goes. Um, I guess, you know, like I, I like to say, I like to provide opportunities for all of my employees. You sure do. He is your employee, and he is fighting for an opportunity here. Uh, you know, perhaps fighting for a contract. Uh, would you know anything about contracts, uh, Mr. Brian Carter, sir? Well, I know plenty of contracts. Mm. You know, I have to sign many contracts, you know, to this place. Perhaps, perhaps put people on free agency, Mr. General Landry, sir? Uh, you know, the employees here, they, I, I'm just going to be straight up with you. Expendable, you know. And certain situations, I need to, you know, extend the expendable asset to people. You know, yeah, I'll, I'll have to keep that in mind next time mine comes up. But either yeah, way, yeah. look at the strength of Duke Bennett here. I mean, Jason Levi coming in with a lot of confidence, but Duke Bennett maintaining control. Confidence, sure. But I don't know if you want your debut to be against this Duke Bennett. I mean, it is an open season challenge. I mean, for all takers, as, as we just, we've seen before, I mean, hell of a way to make your introduction, but off the ropes okay, here. No, Be what a high there, beautiful. And retaking that headlock there, keeping it simple, but keeping it sweet. Wow. While this is impressive, Barry, I can't help but think that Johnny Robbie just set this young man up. What was his name again? Jason Cash? How are we doing, Duke? Jason Levi. Jason. Oh, oh, okay. And Sorry. in fairness to Jason Levi, it's not often that we see Duke Bennett on his back, and we've seen that already in this match, but oh! Oh! Mack truck of a shoulder tackle from Duke Bennett. Goodness gracious. Duke Bennett, it, it, he doesn't play around. Is a great, oh, look at this. Veteran instinct right there. That's got, for sure. Wait veteran a instinct, but whoa! Wait a minute. Arm drag. Oh, okay, Levi. Okay. I see you. I see you, dog. And Jason He's Levi wants all that smoke. I mean, this is a guy that's been working his butt off to get into this Millennium Pro Wrestling ring here tonight. And he is willing to make the most of it. It's not often we see Duke Bennett sent flying via an arm drag. Jason Levi says, show me what you got. And Duke Bennett might like very well say bet. Horrible choice of words. You do not want to see what Duke Bennett has. Duke Bennett has a lot. Perhaps some uh, hang-ups, perhaps some uh, personal squabbles, uh, issues with Johnny Robbie. Yeah. Uh, but he's also got some brute strength. He is the American Grizzly for a reason. You ever been in encounter a grizzly bear? You know, well, I, I heard the old the saying, to that's for sure. I heard the old saying, I don't have to run faster than Duke Bennett. I just have to run faster than the other guy. Yeah, and uh, Jason Levi is that guy that tricked right now because... Duke is about to take control of this match any second now. That's for sure, but look Wait. at the leapfrog there. Nice and evasion. Oh, and what? a beautiful drop what? kick. Wow, and a cover. What? Only one, but one hell of a drop kick, one hell of a cover. Oh, Good job, Jackson Chevy. Jason Levi. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. And Duke Bennett on the outside here. Perhaps evaluating his options. Maybe he didn't expect as much of a fight. Duke, for the first time in months, 
is actually trying to come up with a game plan for this kid. But intercepted on the dive there. Goodness gracious, Jason Levi on the floor now. And this is like American. Exactly. This is American Grizzly territory right here. Oh! The aggression from Duke Bennett, I will argue, he is one of the most aggressive superstars we have on the MPW roster. That we can agree on. Oh! I mean, this guy attacks fans for fun. Oh my goodness! And that shot! Oh my goodness gracious. I'm sure someone in Los Angeles, California can hear that all the way from here in Chatsworth. Oh, and there's a the second the one! Double! Goodness Duke gracious. Bennett yelling, is that what you want? And that is a very credible question for Jackson, Jason Le me? Levin. Yeah. Jason oh! Levi! And, and Duke Bennett talking his game, but if Jason Levi wants to retake the advantage here, he has to find his sea legs once again. I mean, you're not going to find a harder hitting opponent than Duke Bennett, and he's got to oversee that. Oh, that damage he's received to his hell, everything. Look. I won't put anything past what's his name? Jason. I won't put anything past him because we have had stars come out of our, you know, our academy. But uh, right now, against Duke Bennett, I'm not seeing it. Oh, okay. I will say this. I see some fight in the kid. I that do. It's more than some. There is plenty fighting him. But look at this. Wrenching on the neck. Squeezing the skull. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Look where his hand is, muffling his screams of terror. Victor Quint as the referee here. He's got to be careful. He's got to dictate this right down the middle. The fans seem to be behind this kid. I mean, it's hard not to. Jason's fought for this opportunity. He's going to oh, no! it. Oh! Oh! Big knee from the American Grizzly. And an emphatic pin. Oh, oh. Kid, come on, I'm trying to feel for you. Really am, Jackson. Jason, sir. Jason. Oh, okay. I'll get it right, I'll get it right. I bet you will. I bet you will. Oh, yeah! You remember? This is your buddy, right? That is one of the fans' buddies. Goodness gracious, just choking him against the lights here, or the ropes here, rather. Might as well throw him in the lights. That's for sure. That's for sure. But credit where credit is due, Jason Levi still on his feet. What a slap. The disrespect from Bennett. Oh, wait. But Levi Jeans firing back. That is for sure. And he is hard working just like those jeans. Big close but line. Close line. Still not on his feet, but whoa. whoa. Seems a little bit gassed. I mean, taking on Duke Bennett, who wouldn't be? Wait a minute. Oh. Pop, pop, pop. What a power bomb it two, was! Three, goodbye, Jackson Chevy. Thanks for coming, Jason Levi, but this was Duke Bennett's contest to win. That did not go as planned. You know, six months ago, I walked through those MPW doors, and I kept coming back because I knew I was going to get better one day. Try to tell me, take your time before you get into the ring. But that's not my style. Duke Bennett, you beat me. There's nothing to it. There's nothing else to it. But I'm asking you for another shot. Because I know I can beat you. There's much more to me. My name is Jason Levi. And I'm not going anywhere. No! Go As usual, the bald idiot ring announcer forgot something. in the building. <laughs> so I am going to personally bring it out to myself. <laughs> My name is the Kingmaker, Robin Shaw, and I am your reigning, and as of tonight, this is a title match defending Millennium Pro Wrestling North American Champion. Whether you want to recognize my belt or not, Bozo. So, bring out the Chia Pet! Fans, MPW Bad Business, and uh, 
Well, according to certain legal circles, we do have a North American no. title match on our hands. Don't Barry Sweeney here with the perfect gentleman, Brian Carter. And? Oh, God. And? Big Mama Kane. Yeah, Big Mama Kane, baby! But here we are with the kingmaker, Robin Shaw of the Enterprise, accompanied by Jeff Roth and Dustin Jacked Daniels. I just want to publicly and officially say this is not a title match because Robin Shaw does not have a title that is recognized here at Millennium Pro Wrestling. Uh, perhaps some sportsmanship from the uh, reigning and defending champion, allegedly. Reigning, defending, what? Allegedly. Oh He's offering a challenge to, to Jack Daniels over here to take him down in one shot. Oh. But even someone as strong as Jax Daniels, Dustin's gonna have to hit him with a hot harder than that. No, I don't even think Hercules could punch a hole in a guy like Robin Shaw. That is for sure here, but take nothing away from Dustin Daniels. Wow, the height on that shoulder tackle too. Normally, that added momentum would take down a big guy, but it's way too early. Oh, Shaw. And now, and now, the Kingmaker is now uh, suggesting moves. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, if we, if we want to wonder how this title match was going. Whoa! That was a big shot. Oh! Lord! Shirt or no? <laughs> Dustin Daniels going to think about that one. Daniels not happy with the result there. Right in the pet. Those chiseled pets. Big time. Shot Robin out. shot. I mean, he's bossing around the referees. He's bossing around the talent, the fans. Oh, oh goodness! And he's bossing around the pectorals of Dustin Daniels. I do not envy this kid right now. That is for sure. I mean, I'd rather be in litigation with Robin Shaw than be in the ring with him. Oh, wow! Oh. No one over the chop. Third time's the chop. Oh, wow. Daniels firing off some of his own. And Robin Shaw felt that one. But Shaw looks amused by the chop. And there comes the overhand to Daniel. Goodness gracious is the least I can say right now. I mean, Robin Shaw seems to be in a, a perhaps a uh, charitable mood. Certainly one of the better moods I've seen him in. Wearing that but money green. Exactly. But even then, the alleged oh, so called North American champion, even with Jeff Stop Robin in his corner. Stop it. Listen, no thing. I, I'm, if I don't mention that, he's going to hurt me. How are you next to me? Now, after the show, maybe. But Daniel's now taking advantage. Oh! oh! Another big drop kick, and this time it rocked him. That's for sure. Robin Shaw in the corner now. Dustin Daniels hammering away here on the cut. Shoulder thrust right in the corner. Daniels has to wear down the big man if he wants a shot at winning here. Big clothesline from Dustin Daniels. Whoa, yeah. drop toll the attempt. Trying to use his own gravity against him and wait. That's for sure, he does all his squats. Oh, never skips a day in the gym. And this is not often a response that Dustin Daniels gotten as of late. I mean, uh, perhaps a polite response. I mean, a lot of people hate Shaw. So, anyone going up against him, immediate crowd pain. I, I mean, that being said, you might not like Shaw right now, but I mean, Dustin Daniels, really? But whoa, what are wait, we about to see? Wait, hold on, Jack Daniels. hold the phone. Are we going to see? No, no, false alarm. The, oh, the no. crowd was ready for it. I was ready for it. I was too. I mean, Dustin Daniels is one of the strongest competitors pound for pound that I've seen. Oh. Whoa, no, 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 back elbow. Oh, Sweet oh. victory. Sweet victory. Spinning wheel kick connects. Daniels is out of it. Rock. He's fighting ghosts. One, two, what? Only two. It is very rare we see anyone kick out of a sweet victory. That is for sure. I mean, all that weight bearing down on you with that velocity. I will say, Daniel's getting a win over Shaw. Definitely gets him up there for a recognized title match somewhere down the line. A recognized title match, you say? I mean, wouldn't you say that perhaps if uh, Dustin Daniels wins this match, he could perhaps take home the North American title? No, because that's not a thing. Oh! oh! Springboard cutter! This could be it! One, 
two, no! Nearly three, says Chris Hernandez, but no. This match continues tonight here at MPW Bad Business. Definitely a 2.7 count right there, at least. 2.7, 2.9, 2.99, there. Just not a three. But he's definitely rocking the Kingmaker right now. But what is Dustin Daniels going right. for here? Oh, nope. nope. Oh. No. Oh. Hammering blows in the kidneys. Oh, oh my wow. goodness! And Shaw with a snap suplex of his own to Dustin Daniels. A lot of break on that snap, too. You gotta Good. believe the Enterprise does not want to walk away with two losses in one night. That is for sure. I mean, we saw earlier tonight Jeff Roth and Brendan Devine. A great contest, very evenly matched, but Jeff Roth coming away defeated against half of the MPW Tag Team Champions. But look at this! Oh, he's looking for a crossbody there, but Shaw caught him. Crossbody caught, oh. but this could be that big driver! No! Oh! Big chop to the throat. Wait a minute. What is this? Package by a no. He calls out the king He's breaker. dead! He's dead! My God! Wait. But the momentum, or maybe it was instinct, Either way, Daniels rolled out of the ring, so there was no counter, there was no cover. Take nothing away from Dustin Daniels, that is expert, but look, right into the clutches of oh, the Jackal, on. Jeff Roth, goodness gracious. Chris, turn around, turn around. Oh, now he turned around. Jeff Roth putting boots to Daniels. That's for sure, boots well, raining down strikes. strikes. Yep. Oh, and the no. cranial clutch. Shades of the big Kali, the great Kali, rather. Big Kali, I think, is his cousin. Maybe, maybe. But look at... No. I... What? Where are we right now? Because Dustin Daniels is actually getting the support of the fans right now. I didn't realize Dustin Daniels still cared for this sort of thing, but I guess... He when... generated it right now. And Robin shot him know what to do. We are in the twilight zone right now. Then he made Shaw slap himself! Big and bell clap! <laughs> Here comes Go for Dustin Daniels! No, caught! Well, on his shoulders! Oh! TK Kingbreaker connects! The Kingbreaker! Man, one, two, what? Package pile driver can't do it, Kingbreaker can't do it. And I mean, laughing. The King Maker is in disbelief, I think. I, I, I've never seen him this good humor before, and I don't think it's good humor that's no. making him smile now. It, it, it's got to be part, he can't believe that Daniels is still alive, and also, he is enjoying putting on a hurting. Oh, but look at that, attacking that foot again from Daniels, and a chop skis, two throat, and, and a, a back rake. rake. Oh my goodness. He's doing what? Look at illegal substance, but Daniels with a low blow to Shaw. While Chris Hernandez educates him on a, perhaps some, some dare philosophy here. Wait, Daniels, are we gonna see it? Whoa! Yes! Suplex to the big man. Justin Daniels suplex, and he's got a capitalize. He wants to That's take a why. Now. That's why he's Jack Daniels, baby. Look at him fired up. But I told you all, Jack. I got Why isn't he pitting him? Where is he going? He, he got excited. I, what's he doing? Oh, what's this? The North American title. Why is he grabbing that? What is he thinking? Man? Barry, what the hell is he thinking? Why isn't he pitting him? Pit him, kid. He says he hit his new personal record and is the North American, allegedly North American champion. Oh, a little tug of war. Like two it. kids fighting over their favorite toy. Oh! oh! And, what? and referee Chris Hernandez has to throw this match out. This is a disqualification win. Uh, goodness gracious. This is, this is bull. Dustin Daniels.
You know, it's rare that we see a battle of good versus evil with lines drawn so easily, but here we have a whole lot of gold and a whole lot of darkness. We have The Void, and we have Busio, Johnny Robbie, and Miggy Rose here at MBW Bad Business. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Barry Sweeney, joined by Pinky Santino. And, and you know, usually I'm, I'm out here losing my mind because Miggy Rose is out here, but talk about losing their mind. Auntie Heidi was right in front of me losing her mind trying to get to Johnny Robbie and, and the rest of this team. That's for sure. I mean, eye contact alone with the void here is real scary stuff. I mean, I don't know if you saw when I uh, when they came out, I was behind you. Oh, and I don't blame you. These these guys are, are animals. They're freaks. That's for sure. And on top of that, they have a whole lot of darkness and a whole lot of bones to pick with all three folks here in this ring. The, the big question is, will all this gold that these competitors have shine through the darkness here tonight and the six-man tag? Let's hope so here at 19801 Nordop Place, Chatsworth, California. This is the place to be. And wow, we are off to the races here. The VWE Women's Champion here and Ani Heidi. Huge arm drag. And oh. you're on the corner. Wow! Third time's the charm! Ani oh. Heidi rocked here very early on. Now fans, wow! With a big leg lariat! And look and at her! He's national just... champion Busio in the ring too! Casador, oh! Big splash! One! Only a one count by the national champion. That's for sure. Busio here, not, brim uh, not exactly without confidence, but now that he's hit enemy oh, territory, that's for sure. And the Baphomet, this coat man here, stepping in. Oh! oh. Big while, uppercut right under the jaw. And while and Heidi Busio. might be cackling here, I mean, what the oh. void is scary as is. Dark alley, light alley, down the street, across the country. I'd be scared of him either way. But again, Heidi's been on a losing streak, let's face it. And I think that comes with a lot of desperation. And with that desperation, it's like a wild animal quarter. You don't know what they're gonna do. Almost definitely. Speaking of wild animals, oh. whoa, Busio with a huge stutter. And, and here, here comes, comes the Friday Night Highlight and the new MPW Champion, Miggy Rose! I knew I should have left his for you, but whoa! whoa! Both champions wiped out by the Baphomet! The Baphomet doesn't care whether you're the champion or not, he's gonna go straight through you! And Artorius the Dragon stalking his way into the ring. Oh, oh goodness! And like a dragon, he's breathing fire all over Mickey's chest. And this is this is the six, the match five. But I haven't said it yet. The first Planet Chops has been served up for the night. That's for sure. I tried to rep you earlier, but wow! Nice evasion from Mickey and a drop kick to the knees, cutting down his opponent as we've seen him so often do. But nice evasion from Artorius. Whoa! Oh, big up and over sends Mickey on the outside, but blocks the punch and comes back with one of his own. On the top. And Big what an arm drag. drag! What a knee! And what a cover! One! Oh, only a one count! Do you believe that? Artorius, I certainly can. I mean, this is a guy with a whole lot of fight and a whole lot of, in his arsenal! But Miggy Rose, oh my goodness, the chops on him. And here comes Johnny Robin. Oh! oh! Big time Ganty leg drop! Oh, but with those long limbs, he's able to go ahead and reach for the rope. All the length there and all the ring acumen of Artorias coming in handy here. But Johnny Robbie charging in, still plenty of juice, still plenty of gas left in the tank. Sliding in and whoa, oh. double knees against the turnbuckle. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Johnny Robbie is the fire starter of MPW. And once that fire starts, it's very, very hard to put it out. That's for sure. It is five alarm burning up here. And wow, what an evasion. Up high, but no crossbody caught. Just showing that power of Arturis. Wow. Oh, fall away slam. Just to tossing her all the way across the ring. Exactly. The VWE Women's Champion's got to keep. This is uh, just him yelling at, at Johnny Robbie, getting into the mind of her. And talking about people that could get into the mind of someone. In comes Auntie Heidi. 
Exactly. Again, when that evil eye falls on you, you don't know how it's going to go. And look at this. Heidi waving goodbye to... Oh! Huge splash in the corner. Oh, what does he have? Oh! Wow. Big time drop kick right to the back of Johnny Robbie. And Johnny Robbie has One, been a firecracker so oh. far. A fire starter, rather. But at the same time, this might be the water to stoke these flames here. I don't know if it's that water or that black mud that the anti Heidi feeds the people to take that over their mind. water, that's for sure. Whoa! Oh, big, big time belly to back suplex. That's exactly right. And a cover barely. And again, Johnny Robbie still in enemy territory here. Still in the clutches of the void. Whoa, look at this. Just grabs her by the throat. Oh! Johnny Robbie with a lot of fight back, but look at this, no one home. And it goes Lucio. From the high rent district with a huge crossbody. We've seen this before, time and time again. It's the Guri connects. And a double drop kick. What this cat like reflex is, he's all over the place. Big European uppercut. He's got something for everyone. But look at the Baphomet stalking in. Oh. Intercepted and oh, oh. back to the moon. And look at our Tori is taking out that Friday night highlight. Whoa! Big what? time explorer suplex by the Baphomet. Threw him all the way across the ring and now he's isolated with Ani Heidi. Oh, what has she got planned now? Choking him against the ropes. Goodness gracious. Oh! Huge back break. And this and look, is look at these two. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh! I thought these two monsters were gonna rip his arms off. She calls that the all-seeing me. And nearly a three count. That might have been all that Busio was seeing there, but it, clearly he's still in this fight. Well, you might be seeing stars too. And the Baphomet stalking back to the ring again. Gloves are hey, come off. Hey, come on, Bethlehem. Out of the oh, oh, goodness. That's and, and when the Bethlehem, Exactly. When the Bethlehem chops you, you don't get a slap. You get this sickening thud. You get your rib cage caved in, and you also get a back suplex to boot. And the Baphomet just taking his time, meticulous. And the Void, to their credit, using these tags. Artorias, wow! Big cent on there. Amazing athleticism shown by the big man to be able to perform that senton right over the ropes. That's for sure. A lot in the arsenal of the Dragon Artorias, and he's got him up. Stalling suplex here, perhaps. All Lucio's the, feet almost touching the rafters here. All that's, the, a, that's how tall. Yeah, and on top of that, all the blood rushing to his head. Oh! Stay down if you hey, know this is sick. Andy Heidi's just enjoying this. I mean, this is right up Andy Heidi's repertoire. I mean, the void in full force here, enforcing their will. And look at Artorius just stretching with the knee, with the leg trapped. Oh, and raining down those chops. Can you hear this, sweetie? Almost an uncomfortable silence. Goes over the crowd here. I mean, it's uncomfortable all the time when it's with the void. Look at this neck wrench. Look at this. Refer Referee doing... Victor Quentin's got to be careful here. Artur is just doing all he can to just wrench his neck off. The, the human neck was not meant to bend that way. That's for sure. But if there's anybody with the resistance, I would say it's Busio, but he might be in a lot of trouble here. Arms hooked. What they got planned? Busio oh. fighting out. Oh, Only a one. Takes them out with a clothesline, but both men down in the ring. Who's going to make it to their feet first? And who's going to get that tag? Is it the VWE Women's Champion? Is it the MPW Heavyweight Champion? Or could it be it? either of the members of the void? In comes the Batman, and in comes the Mickey Rose. Oh, double drop kick to both men! Warhead scissors with Big 
you need. Get in the corner. Forearm shot. European uppercut. Oh. No, and home with a splash that he like and double splash from Nicky Rose. These two monsters! And once again, Ani Heidi sent to the outside. Wow, Artorias do! Disaster oh. kick and nuts! One, two, oh! I thought the Friday night light and Friday night highlight had it. And he's still very well by here in Chatsworth, California, MPW Bad Business. This is the kind of action you expect every Friday night. The only show in all of Southern California every Friday night. That's for sure. What's he got planned here? Going for that gotch style, perhaps, in the back of that. But no. Oh. Perhaps the champion's ego got the better of him there. But wow, what a forearm shot from Johnny Robbie. Johnny Robbie swinging at anything that moves. Victor Quintos better watch out. Whoa! Oh. Ripping German suplex yes. from Heidi! Yeah. Dropped it right on the top of her head! Goodness gracious, things are looking bad for our champion team here, dream team here in FEW. Oh, no. and what have they got planned? What are these monsters setting up? Oh no! We've seen this before with the Shady Boy! Oh. Oh. Front slam power bomb combo! One, two, oh, Busio makes the save. And Busio saving the day here, breaking up the double cover. Everyone down here except for Heidi and Busio. Whoa. Oh, no. What the hell is this? The evil eye oh, is no. on Busio. And what is this? Hypnosis? Psychic? I don't know. I don't even know. I mean, the void, there's layers of this, and all of them are real scary. They're trying to stab Busio out of it. I've never seen Busio oh, no. afraid a day in his life, but look at this, finding out all the same. Whoa! Oh. Stutter from Busio! And the bottom of is falling, look at this! Oh. Breaker at the ropes! And this is it! Big time back seller! And they're gonna fly! Oh, double suicide, guys, right to the ropes! Who's in the Big time frost press! One, two, three! And that is it! Good prevails, gold prevails, and champions prevail here tonight at FBW Bad Business. Right before the team, absolutely right before the rush. That's why we have all this money. We don't like it. So pathetic. What do you mean? I just won. You just won. Oh, congratulations, senorita. Thanks. You want to know why I think you're pathetic? Why? Because you are a champion from another promotion, not even here. I mean, I'm a champion. What are you? A billionaire. Okay. Okay, exactly. big shot. Exactly. Oh. Sabes que? I would give you a chance to face me, but you haven't yet to defeat me. Maybe one day I will give you a, an opportunity. Maybe a tag match. But, uh, oh, that's right. No tienes amigos. You don't have any friends. Who will you tag with? Well, for one, I have a quite a few friends. Yes. That being Barbie Boy, who you punked on earlier. Because you're it's just my... a little punk. Hmm. But you know what? I am a singles competitor, you're right. Not really doing tag stuff anymore. Keep getting ditched. But you know what? I think I have someone in mind. Oh, see? They're pretty mighty. So yeah, I mean, if you want to do a tag match, I'm down. I can find someone. We've been talking. I give you one week. Okay. Me y el primo genio. Oh. We will see who you bring. <laughs> Ciao. You might want to watch out. He's very hysterical, mighty. I don't know. You'll see. <laughs> No 
love lost here between former friends, former tag team partners, and former business associates here at MPW Bad Business's main event. I am Barry Sweeney, joined here with Pinky Santino. And we got a hell of a main event going on today as the handsome d devil. Wait, oh. Michael Hopkins is worried about taking off his chain. I don't think I've ever seen him take a chain off. I don't know why he's worried about it now. You got the, the GM Brian Carter outside, and, and, and I think he's unraveling. He, he just handed us his cane, Big Mama Kane, and he said it's going to be a, a special guest commentator as if it was supposed to be talking to us or something. Listen, I mean, the fact that he refers to his cane as Big Mama Kane and, and refers to it as... You know, the personhood of a cane aside, I feel like Brian Carter's been unraveling with the power he's wielded. No, and let's talk about the real one. I mean, trading around contracts. He, he, sold, he sold Barbie Boy. He sold the person, the contract, the idea of Barbie Boy. I mean, what is this? Uh, Diego Valens, I mean, hopefully can, can exert some sort of influence, can exert some sort of, whoa, make this fight fair. Whoa. And he's looking to make this fight fair. Take it to Michael Hopkins here tonight. Big time double leg takedown, and he's just raining those shots and chops. Diego Valens raining in strikes, and I don't think even the mob expected this kind of violence. And these guys are not here to wrestle, they are here to fight. Exactly, this is a scrap, brother, and they know, oh no, and whoa, what a drop kick! Diego Valens like looking like a buzzsaw in there. Exactly, huge Rana and he's raining down those fists. Those hammering blows and whoa! Oh. Bray Carter, you better get out of the way. You're quiet by pressure. He sends him over the top. And what is this? He's gonna fly! Oh, huh? huge choke bay over the top rope. Amazing from Diego Valens. And as you've noted in the past, Pinky, it's been a long time since we've seen this version of Diego Valens. This kind of high flying, this maneuverability. Oh, wait, look at this. He sets his sight on Brian Carter now. And this kind of heart for sure. I think Brian Carter's gonna have to keep his distance on this one. That's for sure. He's been meddling in the affairs of Diego Valens since the oh, mob broke hey, out. What is this? He got, he's got it on the apron. But oh. look at this, enough time for the Ma to collect himself and collect Diego Valens and whoa! Oh. But he holds on! Diego holding onto the ropes. Oh! And he eats that huge boot to the mouth! Well, you can't hold on after that, Sweeney. Goodness, better luck holding on to your teeth. Oh, God. And that sickening thought of Diego Valens just hitting the ground here. And not only that, but right against that steel guardrail. Victor Cuentes. I mean, this match is going to spill in the oh, ring out of the ring. Look at Brian Carter. This is ridiculous. Come on, Carter, what so are you doing? perfect gentleman here. He's just choking the life out of Daniel Bellens. And let me tell you, that's the poorest form of a camel clutch I've ever seen. Well, Carter, not a normal in-ring competitor, but he doesn't care. He's going to throw in any cheap shots whenever he can. Exactly. Meanwhile, Michael Hopkins is getting ready to ride with Amal. Oh, I got it coming! Oh! What the drive-by clothesline! With a perfect gentleman serving his bait, Diego Valens didn't have a chance to guard that, block that, or duck it. And look at this, the former mob stalking in the outside. The count applied only halfway through, and Diego Valens back in the ring, whether he wants to be or not. One! Two, only a two count. The numbers game is definitely an advantage that these two have here today. But if we're familiar with Diego Valens, if this is the Diego Valens that we've come to remember, he is familiar with that kind of disadvantage. He's familiar with fighting from underneath, and he is the kind of guy, oh, by hook or by crook, he will make this fight fair. And there he goes, he throws him in there. Big shots in the midsection. Big right. No one on the big shot. Oh. Goodness. Hopkins with a big right hand of his own. Right to the jaw. And look at Diego clutching the mouth. I mean, he could have dislodged some teeth there. Could have busted his lip open. I mean, uh, oh! This is what you wanted, right, I might say that Valentine has, has, might have an advantage in striking precision, but 
Hopkins definitely has that power advantage. That's for sure. Power, size, you name it. And again, with Brian Carter in his corner. Now, this show, MBW Bad Business, it's called Bad Business. And we've been talking about Brian Carter from the top of the card all the way to the bottom. And I mean, this can't even be about business at this point. The mob is already broken up. Michael Hawkins is on to other things. This is all about personal beef. This is about yeah, animosity. Most definitely, Carter hides behind the fact that it's supposed to be business. But look at this. It's he, nothing he, but he personal. Show, he's showing the face of the handsome devil involving himself in this match. It is not just bad business. This is personal. That's for sure. And again, Diego Valens, Irish whip reverse, but oh, kick to the gut. Snap mare. Oh! oh! There you go, Big kick right to the side of the face. Only a two count ball. Let me talk about the handsome devil. He's not going to be so handsome after all these blows right to the head, right to the jaw. I mean, maybe they're looking at the switch. I'm calling him the handsome devil, but either way, Diego Valen's still in this fight. He's getting strangled in there. I got to give it to Victor Quintas. He has his hands full in this match, and he's doing the best that he can. That's for sure. But Victor Quintas himself, no stranger to Brian Carter's ire. And this is crowd got behind Diego Bells. Wow! Oh, beautiful Northern Lights floated over! Big time double stop right to the chest of Hopkins. Can this be a one, two, only a two count? If he had that chain on, there'd be an imprint right through his heart. And both these men are reeling, but they're not done fighting. Still swinging back and forth. Goodness gracious, what a backbreaker from the mall! Whoa! Oh, huge jump yeah. up to the spinal column! Oh, Hopkins takes your double stop and he's gonna answer your one right back. One, two, only a two count. Only two, but the abuse that Diego Valens has gone through, he's gotta power through, find that second gear, third gear, whatever it's gonna take to not only overcome the maw, but prove Brian Carter wrong. Well, you gotta remember with that devil's tail, it's, it's just one swing and their lights are out. The question is, can he find the opportunity to get that kick off? That's for sure, and on top of that, can you swing without a spinal cord? Can you swing without a neck? Oh. Powering out here, fighting back. Diego Bounds has yet to give in in this entire contest. Oh. A big fireman's carry, he has him up. Fireman's carry, but fighting out here. Diego Valens, waist lock. Go for that German suplex, but no. I think he's trying to spin him around for that double sale, but once again, these guys were tag team champions. They know exactly what the other one's thinking. Exactly, on top of the animosity, on top of the personal beef, on top of the brutality. These two know each other all too oh. well. The Superman punch connects. And Brett's been oh. DDT. He spiked him. Drilled him right on top of his head. One, two, he kicked out, he kicked out. Somehow, someway, the handsome devil is still in this thing. That is for sure, his brains might be pushed by now, but at the same time, Diego Valens is playing a level of fight. Unbelievable, the fitting of the main event to say the very least. The, the look of shock on Brian Carter's face is, I, I gotta say, I kinda like it. But that's neither here nor there. You know, we do try to remain impartial with our uh, our glorious uh, general manager, our perfect oh, gentleman, oh, sir. Oh, what, what are they planning now? What the hell is this? The other scooter. Uh, the scooter he probably like stole a child on the way here to Nordoff Place. I think I saw him at the skate park earlier, just bullying some kids. Oh no! What? What is he doing? You know the mods have been overgrown, but no at home. Grab the balance oh. Oh. I think he hit the back of his head on that scooter. Exactly, he hit the back of the ankle on that. That's hard enough. Oh, oh. spinning kick, knee, and yeah, close line. Close line. He hits him with another one. Hopkins is reeling. Whoa. Oh. He flags him on over. Oh, big time run of his own. Springboard, what a combo! And the spin, the torque on that fastball back elbow there. Oh, big euro in the corner. 
Irish rip it reversed. No! And what a power slam! And he rolls through! Oh, Muzo lands on his feet! Well scouted by the mob, but look at Diego Bell still on his feet, and another slam! Go for it again! And he gets it this time! One, two, oh, no. only a two count! Yes. Nearly three! And Brian Carter coming his lucky stars here. Say what you will, I gotta give it to Hopkins for being able to kick out of that one. I mean, Mike. How about Brian Carter focuses on his clientele in this match here and less on you? How about that? Uh, Brian Carter yelling at me, I'm, I'm talking, I'm giving you guy praise here. Kiki Santino just trying to do his job here. And listen to this. The yeah. handsome devil firing it up. Could he be going for the devil's tail? Devil's tail, no, scouting. Whoa, Buckle Big Bomb! Buckle Bomb! Into the fireman's carry once again. Oh! oh. Give this me one, two, only a two count! The oh. handsome devil kicks out! Fireman's carry take over there, but only two, says referee Victor Quintas. And again, we talked about Brian Carter not exactly being stable, but unraveling in front of our eyes here in the MPW main event. The MPW faithful clearly found their man in Diego Valens. He's pulling him up. Oh, yeah, he has him hooked. Sizing up that Tiger Driver. No! But the arm drag scouted. Oh, the knee was not! Whoa! Oh, talk about having it scouted! Spinning roundhouse kick right to the back of the head. Oh my goodness. One, two. Oh, too close to the rope. Diego Bell is showing that ring awareness to go ahead and get the hand on that rope. And on top of all of that, Diego Valens still in this fight. And look at Brian Carter here fuming. I gotta say, that was a knockout shot. If if he wasn't close to that rope, I think this thing would have been over. I mean, you could very well think that, but again, Diego Valens has proven he has got the kind of fight in him that he's going to keep going. Even after that shot, he's fighting to his feet now. Whoa! And these guys throwing haymakers back and forth. Back and forth is what it's about. Looks like Diego Valens is getting the edge. Big rights, one after the other. Let's get the ball oh. into a big Euro. Can Valens answer? Yes, he does. Euro of his own there, intercepting them all. Whoa, he lands on his feet once again. Whoa, Rip. Poison Rana. Right on the top of his head with that Poison Rana. He has him up. Into the fireman's carry here. Oh! oh fireman's carry, Mitch and the driver! Two. Whoa, whoa! That would have been three! What the hell is Brian Carter doing? I mean, I don't even know what I'm asking. We know what he's doing. This is something he's done for every time he's been GM. And look at this, now he's on the apron. What are you doing, Carter? Come on, this is a bit of a travesty. These guys are having a great match. You know what, if he gets nailed on, I couldn't even blame the handsome devil at this point. Whoa! Whoa! Barely missing with that spinning roundhouse there. What a shame. Oh! He gets blocked with the devil's tail. And you know what, sweetie? It couldn't happen to a nicer guy. I can't say I can't agree oh, more, but whoa! Devil's oh, tail again! One, two, three! And that is it! Diego Valens the gets the win! The you won, Ryan, you won! Now that, hey, that this is taken care of, <laughs> I got one thing in mind now. That's the NPW Championship. Hey. Oh. Nikki Rose, oh. I'm calling you out. Oh, call him out the MPW champion. Speaking of the devil, he will appear. The Friday night highlight, Mickey Rose. Yeah. 
I don't want to back down from a challenge. Just like last year, I beat you and I took the MPW championship. And I'm not afraid to do it again. Yeah, you're right. One year ago, this time you did beat me. But the person you're looking at right now is not the same person. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm not a real champion until I've defeated you. Whoa, 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 what is this, Carter? Neither of you call the shots here. I make the matches. And you know that. Your checks say I make the matches. So, since y'all too, since y'all, shut your damn mouth. Since y'all want to face each other so bad, huh? Tell you what. June 17th. June 17th, if you're still holding that damn title, Mickey, at Summerfest, it'll be Diego Valens against Mickey Rose. Whoa! That's big time news, Queen! But just to show you, I own this damn place, and I know what's good business. He's gonna be the referee, oh my god. It's gonna be a ladder match. Whoa! Now that is big time news for MPW. Summerfest main event ladder match. Nikki Rose versus Diego Valens. A lot of history between these two. Right again, and this time all the way up high on top of that ladder. And it looks like new pages are gonna be written. Thank you very much for joining us, folks. For myself and Barry Sweeney, we'll see you next week. Son of a... Okay, okay, Diego. You think, you think you're the man, huh? You think, you think you're somebody now? Well, tell you what, next week, you take on to somebody. I should find your ass, but I got something better for you. Since you think you're the man, how about you take on the goddamn man, Tyler Bateman, next week? You bozo.